and welcome to the Level 1 Research Skills Online Workshop for Psychology. My name is Jocelyn and I'm one of the librarians here at CAPU and I'll be taking you through the workshop today. So what are we actually going to do? Well, we're going to go through a series of skills that you need in order to do the research project that you're doing for your psych class. What we'll start with is a little bit of an introduction to the kinds of different sources that you might want to use for your research, as well as where they live online, and how they're organized, and how to actually get to them. We'll take a look at your research topic, and what we're going to do is break it down into the key component parts that we can actually use for doing searching. We'll get into the system, we'll actually do some searching, and I'll teach you some special tricks and strategies that you can use to either get more results or get less depending on how your first search goes. And then what we'll do is we'll take a look at how to actually access the PDFs of the articles, whether we do that through the library here at CAP or through a library at another university. This should be all that you need to get started for your research project. And um, as we go, there's going to be activities along the way that will give you the chance to practice. So let's get started with our first piece and that is what are the kinds of resources that are out there for you to use for your research. So there are many different kinds of research sources that you can use when you are looking into a question or topic that you're investigating. One of the ones that many of us will be the most familiar with, um, especially if we've been into the library, is books. And um, another one that we might uh, have used in the past would be magazines, depending on the topic that you're working on. Uh, sometimes we like to look at uh, news articles, see what's happening currently, see what the, the trends are in a specific subject area. And another way that we can do that is by also looking at websites. So I'm sure that's something that most of you have done when you started a research topic is you've gone onto the, the web, gone onto Google, and taken a look at some websites for some information. Another really common one for us to think about and look at is uh, statistics. So if you want to look into the demographics of something or um, you know, socioeconomic data or just how many people are doing something, statistics are a great one and they're usually published by government bodies. And then one that might be new to you that you may never have used before is academic journals. And academic journals, I'm going to explain a little bit more about what they are. This is the, the main source that your psychology instructors want you to use when you're doing your research paper. So for the, just for the purposes of this, uh, this type of research that you're doing, we're going to not look at magazines, we're going to not even look at books, if you can believe it. Uh, we're not going to look at news or statistics um, or websites. What we're really going to focus on are is academic journals. So let's talk a little bit more about what they are.